Hello, and welcome to this training program on the Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System Awareness, based on the Globally Harmonized System, or GHS, presented by ICC the Compliance Center. Here we will review what you need to know to convert from the previous hazard communication standard created by Health Canada to the new system, WIMIS 2015, which incorporates GHS. Let's get started by reviewing our goals for this program. In this program, you will become familiar with the hazardous products regulations. You will know your responsibilities under WIMIS. You will be able to recognize hazardous products. And you will know how to protect yourself. We will start our program with an introduction, followed by four modules. In Module 1, we will take a look at regulations and responsibilities. In Module 2, we will learn the new WIMIS classes. Module 3 covers the labels, and Module 4 covers the safety data sheets. We will end the program with some exemptions. There will be quiz questions throughout the program, and once you obtain an 80% or better answering the quiz questions, a certificate of completion will be available to you, which your employer can then certify. So, what does the acronym WHMIS stand for? It stands for Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System. It is a pan-Canadian system implemented in 1988, and has been mandatory to use in all Canadian workplaces. Uniform information must be available in all Canadian workplaces so that all have access to the same information. This system wants to ensure worker protection through education and prevention. What is GHS? GHS stands for Globally Harmonized System of Classification and Labeling of Chemicals. It is intended to upgrade and simplify hazard communication for hazardous products worldwide. It targets workers who handle dangerous substances, consumers who may use them around the home, carriers who transport these substances, and emergency workers who may encounter them while dealing with accidents or spills. The system covers classification of hazards, how to label hazardous products, and safety data sheets or SDSs, which will provide detailed information when labels cannot provide enough. Many people ask, why do we need a harmonized system for hazard communication? Well, first of all, it is generally recognized that people who must handle hazardous materials have a right to know about the dangers involved. The globally harmonized system will provide information to handlers throughout the lifespan of the product about the dangers, and how to use the product safely. Doing this will ensure that adverse effects to people or the environment are minimized. And finally, through harmonization, people all over the world will receive standard information. For example, a worker in Europe or Asia will be provided with the same safety information as a worker in Canada, 